This video is about Chapter 2, Cell Structure and Functions. Subtopic, Structure and Functions of Cell Membrane and Organelles. So we are going to learn about four organelles, which is Nucleus, Rough Endoplasmic Reticulum, Smooth Endoplasmic Reticulum, and Golgi Body about their structure and functions. So from this diagram, we can see the animal cell which contains various types of organelles. So the organelles that we are going to learn is the nucleus, which is located in the center of the cell, endoplasmic reticulum, which can be divided into two types, which is rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus, which is also known as Golgi body. So for the structure of nucleus, as we can see that, the structure of nucleus consists of double layers of membrane, which is the nuclear envelope. And they have nuclear pores, which appear on the membrane. We also have nucleoplasm. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is another organelle, they are just beside the nucleus. Structure of nucleus. It is the largest organelle in the cell. It is around 10 to 20 micrometer in diameter. So it consists of double layers of nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope. The nuclear envelope covered by many pores. The function of the pores is to control the exchange of genetic materials between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. So because of these pores, the nuclear envelope is selectively permeable. For the outer layer of membrane, it is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and often they have ribosome on the surface. So these are the membranes of the nucleus, which consists of four layers of phospholipid because of the double membrane. So there is the nuclear pore, which can be found on the nuclear envelope. Nucleoplasm is the semi-fluid matrix that fills the nucleus. It is something like the cytoplasm of the cell. So this is the cytoplasm of the nucleus. So inside the nucleoplasm, we can find chromatin, histone protein that bound to DNA, which mainly made of the genetic materials. So chromosome can be found in the nucleoplasm, which is made up of DNA, associated with the protein called histone protein. So this only apply for eukaryotic cell. Inside the nucleus, we also have nucleolus. Nucleolus is something like nucleus of the nucleus. It is the part of chromatin and non-membranous. So nucleolus is the most visible structure in the nucleus that function to produce ribosome. So this is the structure of nucleus. Inside that, we have the nucleolus. Outside the nucleus, we have outer nuclear membrane, inner nuclear membrane, which embedded with the nuclear pore. So the outer membrane continues to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, where there is ribosome found on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum. So main function of the nucleus is to control the activity and the cell division. It can organize the chromosome for cell division and passes the chromosome to the new cell, also involved in the production of ribosome. So this apply for the nucleus. Nucleus also contain genetic material in the form of chromosome and carry out instruction for the synthesis of protein. Second organelle, endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum can be divided into two types, which is rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum based on their appearance of the membrane. So this diagram, the pink color structure represents the rough endoplasmic reticulum where their surface has ribosome attached with it. That's why it is known as rough. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the orange 
organelle which do not have any ribosome attached on it, so the surface is smooth. So for rough endoplasmic reticulum, the, the presence of the ribosome gives a granular appearance on the rough endoplasmic reticulum, also known as RER. So the structure of the RER is interconnected system of membrane-bound flattened sacs called cisternae. So the membrane have flattened sac. Okay, so their sac is flattened and each of these contain a lumen in the center. So this is called the structure of cisternae. So the function of RER is to package and transport the protein made by the ribosome. So ribosome main function is to produce protein. After ribosome produce the protein, RER will package the protein and transport the protein. Okay? So at RER, protein are modified and combined with carbohydrate to form glycoprotein. So we can imagine that this RER is like a factory to produce the raw material. For example, ribosome is like a milk factory. So it produces the milk and it's sent to the RER. So this RER helps to pack up the milk and send to other shops. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, also known as SER. So it has no ribosome and the structure is interconnected tubule. So they do not have cisternae like RER just now, but they have tubule. It's like a tube and the tubes are interconnected. So SER can be found particularly abundant in the testes and ovaries, those organs which produce the sex hormones, example testosterone and estrogen. Functions of the SER is to synthesize lipid. So the hormone, steroid hormone is a type of lipid. Phospholipids and also steroids detoxify drugs and poisons and also store calcium ion which is necessary for muscle contraction. Okay, so this shows the ribosome. Ribosome produce the protein and it will be sent to the lumen of the RER. Okay, so the lumen, which is the center part of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, receive the protein produced by the ribosome and then it will help to package and transport. The fourth organelle, which is Golgi body. Golgi body, it also has a stack of flattened membrane-bound sac called cisternae. So each stack contains about 4 to 7 of cisternae. Golgi body has two phases, cis phase and also trans phase. It depends on the location. So cis phase is located near to endoplasmic reticulum, which is the receiving site of the Golgi body, while trans phase is located near to the cell surface membrane. So the diagram of Golgi body is something look like your RER just now, okay, which is a flattened sac. So these are the cisternae. So each Golgi body consists of 4 to 7 cisternae. The cis phase here is facing the RER, while the trans phase is facing our cell membrane. So functions of Golgi body, the main function is to modify, sort, stores, and also ship the cell product, example protein. So just now, ribosome produce the protein sent to RER. So RER will help to package and transport the protein to the Golgi body, while Golgi body will help to modify, sort, store, and ship the protein out. So just now, we say that ribosome is like a milk factory. It produces the milk as a raw material and it's sent to our RER. So RER will help to package the milk and then send to Golgi body. So now Golgi body will help to repackage our milk, okay, modify it. Maybe it will, it will make it to become yogurt or something else. And it will sort, stores and ship to other shops. All right. Second function of Golgi body is to transport and store the lipid. Third function is to form lysosome. Lysosome is another organelle which contains the hydrolytic enzyme. Golgi body also produces digestive enzyme. 
and secrete carbohydrate for the formation of plant cell walls and insect cuticles. So how the proteins are transported within the cell, we can refer to this diagram. So first, is uh, the purple color represents our nucleus. It is connected to our RER or the surface of RER that is the ribosome. So the ribosome produces protein and is sent to the RER, help to package and it will transport the protein in the form of transport vesicle. Now this transport vesicle will be sent to the Golgi body through the cis phase. So cis phase receive the transport vesicle. The protein now will be transported into the Golgi body. So Golgi body will help to modify, sort, store and also transport the protein out through transphase. So now this transphase will send the protein in the form of secretory vesicle. While this secretory vesicle will either be sent out to the cell, to the outside of the cell, or it will be just used by the cell. Okay, so there is two vesicles involved here, secretory vesicle and also transport vesicle.